Here's another quick video that will provide you with another problem you will face as a consumer. And that is, what does bad cement actually look like? Well, it will start to clump up. It won't be a powder anymore. You will actually start to see large, what looks appears to be rocks. You know, some of these things are difficult to break depending upon the cement. Um, and of course, this is hard to find. It's hard to notice when you're purchasing the product. You know, sometimes you're going to be able to feel the bag and feel some of the, you know, if it's hard or not. But most of the time, it's going to be hard to figure out because it's uh, so densely packed to begin with. But uh, the cement's going to need to be a powder, a powder form. It will not have any clumps in it. And when I say clumps, even what you're looking at here uh, isn't good. It's got to be a smooth powder. Um, it would be the consistency of flour, for example. You know, um, it would look something like that. Uh, it wouldn't have any lumps, any, any, anything that would be larger than a pebble. Let's just say um, maybe a quarter inch in diameter. That, that could create a problem. Now here's what it will look like in the wheelbarrow, which you're probably thinking, hey, it just looks like another rock. Well, realistically, it could be. Um, this is actually a mix that I mixed. I didn't take the cement back. I don't think I've ever taken any cement back. Um, I've just mixed it in uh, like most people do, I would imagine. But if you're doing something structural, then, um, you know, like a concrete footing or something like that, then you might want to think twice about it or get some more information on how this is going to affect the finished product. I was actually mixing this concrete to fill into containers that I was going to use to support a, an aluminum awning. So it wasn't, wasn't really going to be a big deal. But, uh, you know, the main, and again, the main point of the video isn't to provide you with structural information. It's just to provide you with what bad cement looks like. And it gets this way as moisture absorbs into the bag. The more moisture that absorbs into these water-resistant, not waterproof bags, eventually they will start to lump up. So older cement in moist areas will be more susceptible to having uh, running into this type of a problem. And I really don't know how it affects the um, entire mix, if it weakens it considerably or if it's just a um, small, small amount. You know, um, let's just say that you have a um, 2500 PSI mix and it only reduces it down to or reduces it down to a 2400 pound mix, then that might not be that big of a problem. But uh, obviously this wouldn't be something you would get at a, if you ordered ready mix concrete. And I shouldn't even say that because I have ordered, uh, I've been surprised. One time I ordered ready mix concrete and had a ball the size of a volleyball come rolling out of, uh, of uh, the uh, chute there. Um, so uh, obviously they, they do, um, at ready mix places, they do recycle older concrete, so you could end up with a problem there. So anyway, just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, if you like the video, feel free to hit the old thumbs up button. And uh, who knows, maybe there's someone out there that can provide us with the information on how much something like this um, would affect the consistency or the strength of the concrete as a finished product.